What is going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Dan. If you're new to this channel, by the way, go ahead and subscribe to it uh, and click the bell notification. And I also have an Instagram. I will put that right here. Please follow me there. Today we are talking about this right here. This is the <laughs> Catadyne Be Free water filter. Um, this has a lot of interesting comments online. People that say great things about it and people that say terrible things about it. I've had a pretty decent amount of experience with this over the past, I don't know, several months. I've taken it on several trips into the desert, into the mountains, into cold weather camping, into uh, around here, just all over the place. Uh, lots and lots of trips, group trips, uh, trips with my family, things like that. So uh, got a lot of use out of this thing. And I wanna just walk through some of my thoughts on this and whether or not you should be buying this water filter at all. Okay, this thing comes in uh, a bunch of different sizes. They got a half liter, they got a one liter. I think they have a two liter version. Uh, and that's just referring to the size of the bag. First of all, this bag is a very unique bag in the water filter market. It's very similar to the Knock <laughs> Vecto that I used for so long. Apparently that's how you pronounce it, Knock. Uh, and that's a great water bag in that it is like the same material. It, the idea behind this is that it crunches down and it can fit like into a backpack or your pocket or something. And so that's really nice. But people have complained about this water filter on a ton of different levels. So let's talk about some of those complaints. First of all, people are complaining that this thing gets pinhole um, water leaks in it. I'm just gonna say, I have never experienced that at all. This is the first and only Catadyne Be Free that I've used. It has no leaks whatsoever. I have dropped this. I have accidentally stepped on it. When I'm filtering it, I am not uh, kind to it. I'm squeezing very hard so that the water flows through it quickly. Um, I have scraped it on things. It's been roughed up and just beat up like crazy. Still works, still works great. People have complained that this bag is difficult to fill up. Um, I I'm very surprised by that because this opening is actually pretty large. I'm not exactly sure the size of the opening, so I'll make sure I put that on the screen. This is very easy to fill up in all levels of water. I've never really had a difficult time doing it, except for like super shallow water, but any water bag is gonna have difficulty filling up in those situations. So you can bring like a little water scoop, you can use your cook pot to scoop water and pour it in there. Uh, so there's ways to fill it up, but this has not had any issues with filling it up for me at all. The next thing I hear all the time is that this thing is really expensive. Okay, this thing is $45. That's the listed price on it. If you use my link and in the description below, I can save you 15% on that. Brings the price down to like 38 bucks. So that should help you out. Now $45 would seem expensive as compared to say the Sawyer Squeeze, which uh, is a $30 um, water filter. But what I think is, um, the missing piece of all this is that when you buy this, this is the filter itself, this sells on its own. You can buy this for 25 bucks. This is 30 bucks. So that puts this um, bag as pretty expensive as 20 bucks. Now you, you might say, well, Dan, that Sawyer Squeeze comes with a water bag. Well, let me just tell you about that water bag. It's this piece of junk right here. When you get this thing with your Sawyer Squeeze, just throw this in the garbage because that's where it belongs. This is literally the worst water bag in human history. It is extremely difficult to fill up in any situation and it takes forever to use. So a couple things that I hate about this bag <laughs> is in order to get it to um, be usable, you actually have to blow in it. So it blows up like this. That's probably not good. I probably shouldn't be putting my lips on the dirty water bag that I'm trying to filter out of. Uh, and then being able to scoop and get water in that tiny little hole, which is the size of a water bottle top, is it's, it's too small. So we're gonna throw this in the garbage. So if you consider that you get a really good bag with this, although this does add a decent amount to the cost, it's only 10 bucks more than this one. So that makes this actually cheaper than this one. And then the other thing is, is that most people that buy this one are going off and they're buying like a Knock bag anyway, and that's gonna cost you 20 bucks. So uh, you're actually paying more money 
uh, for this. Now I do understand that a lot of guys just like to connect this directly to their water bottle and that works as well too. So uh, you can do that if you want to. Um, I don't like that because look at this thing. <laughs> it just, it's, I, I'm, I'm convinced that if I, if I did this and put it in my water bottle pocket, I'm gonna like crack this on a tree or something. It's just gonna snap. I'm not gonna like it. So, oh, look out. The other thing that people complain about is that the capacity of this is only a thousand liters, whereas this one is 100,000 gallons. Okay, I think we should do the math on that. I'm gonna need Siri's help. 1,000 liters is how many gallons? It's 264.17 gallons. 264 gallons, okay. So this can filter 264 gallons. This can filter 100,000 gallons. Okay, hang on, let's let's take this a step further. What's 100,000 divided by 264? It's about 378.7878. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy 380 of these to equal this right here, right? For those of you that purchased your Sawyer Squeeze, how many years have you used it? How many gallons of water have you really uh, filtered through this? And I'm just gonna tell you that I have not even filtered even a fraction of that through this one and this one is almost completely clogged up and unusable. I tried to use this one this morning uh, just to mess around with it and it was literally dripping out of it. So I would have to spend some time just cleaning this out per their instructions, which is never easy, in order to even use this thing anymore. So I think the reason for that is probably because um, the filter on the inside can probably handle filtering that much water, but it, it, it's, it's not gonna last you that long. I, I would be, very surprised if any of you have ever used <laughs> this thing to filter a hundred thousand gallons. So while the filter may still be safe, if it could filter that much, uh, the, the device itself is, it's just not gonna last that long. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about with this is that people say that the flow rate slows down quite a bit. Um, I'll just tell you this, my flow rate has slowed down. Uh, and I wouldn't say quite a bit, I would say probably a little bit more than half. I'll just tell you, the flow rate on this versus the flow rate on this, still, even after all the use I've gotten out of this, is still faster than this. So I will buy this every single time. This is the best water filter I have yet to see. And if I'm wrong, you guys, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more, hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.